Yo, what's going on everyone? In this video, we're gonna be talking about constructors. Get that concept figured out. So then we can go make some examples in code in just a moment. So stay tuned, it's gonna be pretty fun. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. All right, so what in the world is a constructor? Well, a constructor is pretty much just like a method. So it's something we invoke and there's a key difference. When you create a constructor, you don't put a return type. So no return. And the other difference is that the way we invoke it is with the new keyword. So when we do something like this, this here, it's a terrible arrow. There we go. Oh, there we go. This here is how we invoke a constructor. So we've been using constructors this entire time. We just may not have known that. And you see it looks really similar to invoking a method, but we prefix it with the new keyword. Inside of the user class, the way we define this is exactly the same as a method, but there's no return or return type. And the name has to match the class. So these match. And then in here we can define what the constructor does. Now, why would you need this? Well, the primary reason of a constructor is so we can initialize the object with certain values. So for example, we could pass in a first and last name here, or let's just go with the first name because I don't feel like writing a bunch of Caleb. Then inside of the constructor, what we can do is we can assign that value to the, the fields in this class. So we'll put that in a parameter here. We'll just call it string n. And then all we have to do is say, first name is assigned the value n. So this is how we can get this value here to go into the variables for the class user. It's basically a way to make sure from the very beginning, the user has valid values. Cool, so that's your intro. The other thing you should know is that by default, there is an implicit default constructor. <laughs> so that's going to just be like this. So when you say new user with no arguments, you're getting the default constructor. But if you create a custom constructor, so if, such as one that takes a string, the definition of this default constructor is no longer going to implicitly happen. So in our class, if you want the option for a default constructor with no arguments passed in and a custom constructor where we pass something in, you're going to have to explicitly define that default constructor, which literally will just look like this. Super easy. You just gotta remember that. The reason is because if you want to make a scenario where a, an object has to have initialized values, you can get rid of that default constructor and make a custom constructor, and then it's not going to be implicitly created where we can make an object in an undefined state. So for example, if a user has to have a first name and last name, you can require that in the only constructor getting rid of the default one. So that's your introduction to constructors. Now let's get creating some. I'll see you guys in the next video. 